Grand experiment. Grand experiment is um, is an all encompassing DFD song. It is exactly what you think a DFD song would sound like. The first single, Grand Experiments, has a cool, like, surfy kind of danceable beach blanket bingo kind of uh, vibe to it. The songs, uh, it's it's pretty catchy. It's pretty heavy. I think it's a very over, it's a, it wraps up the band pretty well. Like, if you had to be like, well, what's this band kind of sound like? If you put that song on, I think it's going to give a really good representation. It's got it's got a surfy feel. Um, it's got a very heavy halftime chorus. Um, interestingly enough, it's got an extended guitar solo from Jay, which um, is unusual for this band. So that's new. It has a cool guitar solo in it, which I don't typically do. Um, but it's it, it's 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 as close as I've ever come to playing a rockabilly solo, um, and it's good, man. I, I was pumped about it. Everybody else was like, hey, man, that solo is pretty good because like, it's not something I generally do. I don't really play solos that much. Not that I am opposed to solos. I'm just not very good at them. It's the first song that I recorded in the studio. That I used uh, like a, a tremolo. Uh, which again, God bless Steve, right? Because how many, I personally only know of one song that I've ever heard that had a tremolo in it. And I can't even remember who did it um, for, on, on, for the bass guitar. Like, you know, 20 seconds into the song, Steve's like, I think we need a tremolo on this. And I was just like, oh, thank God. That's awesome. Um, the one that we did, we already did this lick on piano, but this one might be better on organ. Yeah. We, we could use the other. You're good. Grand experiment. It's a fun one. Um, I do dig that because of the the. Once again, the organ is it. A lot of those with those, it's just it's so fun to, to just jam on that thing in the in the studio there, you know, and just picking different parts of that. It's it's catchy and it's also heavy, uh, thought provoking. You know, Mr. Smith uh, kind of outdid himself with the lyrics on that one as well. I think it was appropriately chosen to be uh, to be a first single. There's, I think, in my opinion, uh, and everybody else is at least like four, four songs that could be singles on this album. Um, so, and with doing the videos, like the regular videos, not just the lyric videos that we've done in the past, um, we are we're definitely just trying to utilize the aspect of singles. When we did the video shoot for Grand Experiments, um, we were in this gigantic church that was built in the 1800s. I mean, it's an amazing backdrop for a video. So the Grand Experiment video is all shot in St. Luke's Cathedral uh, in Baltimore, um, which is this giant old, I think it's 18th century. I'm not sure when it was built, but it's fucking old. We're in a church that basically has been derelict for years. The plaster's fallen off the ceiling. It's an old Catholic church. It literally looks like they closed the last service. The entire congregation just left and, no, and nobody came back. So... There are still Bibles in the pews. There are robes on hangers that we donned for the for the performance. I spent the better part of a week and a half coughing up the atmosphere in the building because we're in there and we're kicking up, you know, the sound waves are kicking up dust. And there's so much dust in there, you could blow it off of stuff like snow. So when you're sitting there, you're going, God, this, this looks like shit. Like, how is this going to be a good video? But you get good cameras and you have lighting and obviously the shots are, you know, are changing so fast that you don't really have an opportunity to focus on, oh my God, look at that railing. Like you could run your finger across it and your finger would disappear in the dust. Um, it was dusty as fuck. <laughs> it was fun, but we got in there and it was just like caked, just a layer. And it, it looked fucking great, man. Um, 
but yeah, yeah. Just going in there, the, the whole, the whole first setup was really fun. Just hanging out with them and you're never really sure how it's going to, how it's going to look afterwards. Um, we basically had, you know, full run of the place for two days. Um, and we set up and did the, the video shoot, uh, with, um, Adam Priest, who is the guy that, uh, right. He basically, he's basically right ways video guy now, um, assisting the director, um, this guy named TJ that we met through friends. Who's awesome. Um, he's a great director and, and has a really good eye. Grand experiments video is basically, um, is, is basically us dressed up as old men and we're coming in all crouched over old guys, like going up this church aisle. Um, it could be a dream. It could be a hallucination, but, uh, you know, maybe it's one guy's solution, hallucination of his glory days being in a band. Now he's 85 years old and he's just kind of like, Hey, miss those old days. It's us on this, you know, we're playing on this giant altar, uh, in this church throwing down we had some outfits on um which were pretty elaborate and throughout the video we changed outfits to be a little more evil we got these old man masks uh and and hawaiian shirts um (coughs) off of amazon and it's we're just like throwing down as these old men um but there are certain sections of the song that are super heavy so I painted, I got a second set of um, the same mask, the same old man mask, and painted them with all this like super creepy black metal face paint. So it's this the black metal old men um, just in like little tiny snippets. So when it gets super heavy, like like the wardrobe changes and we go to the black metal faces and then we're right back to the to the, the goofy old men in, in Hawaiian shirts. You know, we, we came up with some fun ideas. Uh, we got into it. We got into our characters, especially Tim. Like he became that like old babushka with the cigarette kind of hanging out of her mouth and the shawl just, you know, kind of, she became, he became that character. The old lady. Well, I was bringing out my old little lady in me. Um, I, I channeled my, my dead grandma, you know, and what would, what would dead grandma do is, is kind of what I was thinking. And, um, yeah, yeah, I just did that. No, it was fun. It was fun. I was just uh, had a mask on and, you know, fucked around. I wouldn't say I'm, you know, Philip Seymour Hoffman or, or Christian Bale. I did yell at the lighting guy, though. I did say that. I said, good for you. And, you know, he got in my way and I had to, had to tell him what was up. So. When, when you're filming this kind of stuff, there's always so much trepidation because you never know what it's going to look like until it's done. And Jay and I are also the same in this regard. Like we we're always so nervous about what the outcome is going to be until we hear or see the outcome.